19 millimeter socket. We're going to take the lug nuts out. And these are studs. So when you get to the last one, you're going to have to hold the tire. Set these aside. So the last one, spin it so it's on the bottom. Just grab the tire and lift it up. So locate the caliper. These are the caliper sliding boots, and they have covers on them. So we're going to pop these covers off, bottom, then the top one. And we'll get our Allen head socket to remove the caliper pins. So seven millimeter Allen head is the size of the slider pins. So we're going to put these Allen head socket right in there and take the pin right out. Let's see if we can get to the bottom one. Same on the bottom. Before I take those pins completely out, I'm going to break my bleeder screw free, the 10 millimeter socket or wrench. And I'm going to push my piston back to confirm my caliper is good. Take a screwdriver. I've got a catch bucket underneath. And I'm going to try to push this thing right back. There we go, put some pressure on it. Then I'm going to take my 10 millimeter wrench or socket. I'm going to snug the bleeder screw up. And now we're going to remove the anti rattle clip spring here on this caliper. Just take a pry bar or screwdriver, and there it is. Pretty simple. Now that we've loosened our pins already, we're just going to slide the actual pins right out of the caliper boots. And there's one, that's the top one. And then the bottom one, and the bottom caliper pin. Let's get a little twist. Pull that caliper right out of the way. And there's the pin. Just going to take it all the way out for cleaning. Remove the outer pad. Now I'm going to take the caliper hook and hang this caliper up out of the way. So now we're going to take the caliper bracket off of the knuckle. You have two mounting bolts, top and a bottom, 13 millimeter socket or wrench. And loosen the bottom one. Can't miss it. There's the bottom. There's the top. And just pull the bracket right off. Now, in order to remove this rotor, we need to take this guide pin off. 10 millimeter socket, back it off, set it aside. We will reuse that, and then just grab your rotor, tap it off. Make sure your hub is clean. If any is to be sanded, sand it down. Then I'm going to take some Never Seize. I use copper because it's high temp. And I'm just going to spray the surface, so that way the rotor doesn't get stuck on it. We're using the drill and slaughter rotors. If you are, remember that the slots and the drills for the cooling go in the opposite direction. They don't go with the flow of the tire. They go like they're cutting into it. Now you see that hole? You want to line that up with one of those right there. Confirm that the wheel studs line up. Then I'll take that guide pin. And I'll thread it. I'm going to bottom that out. And that's a 10 millimeter. So the torque spec 10 millimeter socket is 7.4 foot pounds. 
just enough to snug it. Now I'm going to clean up the caliper bracket with a pad sit. Looks like someone last time that did this job, they put a little bit of caliper grease in there. I don't recommend that. I do not put any sill glide or caliper grease where the pad hits because as you can see it collects dirt and that can actually stop the pad from doing its job moving in and out freely on the bracket. You want it to be clean, metal to metal, so it's smooth, just like that, both sides. You can take a wire brush to it, wheel electric if you have one. I do not recommend grinding it with a grinder. Now I'm going to install that bracket. Put the top bolt in first. Make sure you hand start it. It's going to bottom it right out because the uh, torque spec is 37 foot pounds. So it's not that strenuous. Let's get the torque wrench. The socket is a 13 millimeter and it's 37 foot pounds. I'm just going to double check. So these are the slide pins. I want to get all of this gunk off and clean the thread. So I'm going to take it to the electric wire brush. Put a silicone paste or dielectric grease. I put it inside the caliper boots, right inside. Get it up. Make sure those sliders have something good to go. And glide on, that's waterproof. You can also use caliper grease. I'm going to use, do both boots. Make sure it's all nice and sealed. I already inspected those boots, none of them are torn or anything. So then I take my pins that I cleaned up. I'm going to guide them right in. They start right till the thread comes on the other side, just like that. That's it. Now I'm going to put the inner pad in. You've got those three clips. They go in the center of that piston, and you're just going to evenly push on it, just like that. Now we're going to install the outer pad, and this is how simple it sits in there. That's it. And see, that's why it's so important to make sure those are clean with no grease or anything on them. You want that to be able to slide freely, just like that. Now we'll take our caliper, do the same with the inner pad. Perfect. I like to take the caliper and I'll just move it around until I feel the threads. And there they go. And that is an Allen head seven millimeter socket. We're going to thread them all by hand. And then we'll torque these down. Torque specs on this is 20 foot pounds for the slider pins. Okay, so the torque, like I said, is 20 foot pounds, seven millimeter Allen head. I bottomed them out by hand and that's how simple that one is. Yep. And now these have caps. We're going to put the caps on the end. They just go right on that boot. Slide them right in. That stops any sand, salt, wherever, snow, whatever you have in your area from destroying that slider pin. Last thing to put on is the anti-rattle spring. The pads come with a new one. This is really easy to install. It goes like that. So I'm going to put the top one in first, and then the bottom one. You could use a pair of pliers if you need to, but they're, it's pretty simple. And then I just take a little hammer sometimes, and I'll tap it on to uh, confirm that spring went all the way in the little hole there. Now you're just going to pump your brakes up, and then you can gravity bleed them. Remount the tire, line up the stud holes hold it and start one by hand. 
Might have to wiggle this around to center the first one. Thread it on there. Get one more on the top. Do the same. Then I'm going to take my socket and just snug them up. Now I can put the other three. 19 millimeter. We're going to torque the wheel. Torque specs is 81 foot pounds. Do it in a star pattern. Double check. 